Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking hoops because it's March, it's that time of year, and March Madness is not the only thing you can win money on. We're talking the NBA, Pelicans and Blazers. Blazers favored minus one at home, total of 241 and a half. And these two teams just played, uh, and probably why the line is where it is, because the Blazers won. 125 to 124 at home. Uh, the big story in that one, the Pelicans were up 64 to 50 at halftime. And also, both of these meetings uh, this season have been very similar. Uh, the other game, 126 to 124, Blazers winning that one on the road as four point dogs. We've got Craig Trapp joining us uh, to break this one all down. Craig, what stands out to you? Well, I love what the NBA did this year. And I know they did it for COVID reasons. Um, you know, where these teams play back to back spots, but with a day rest in between. Um, as a better, you know, when you play the back to back, there's a lot of unknown because now you have guys that rest or you might, you know, not play them the full minutes. You don't have that when you have that rest period. Uh, you know, I thought the Blazers, obviously, big comeback. What an amazing game. Guess what? They still didn't cover. The line was one and a half or two at most spots. So, New Orleans still covered for you that bet the Pelicans. I think this one. My best play is going to be on the total here on the over. I just think, as you said, the first two matchups, way over. Both teams square in the 120s. I think this one's going to be very similar. I think it'll be a very tight game at the end. Um, so if I was playing the side, I would definitely play uh, uh, Portland Trail Blazers because I think the Blazers, now they have C.J. McCollum back, his second game back. I think, you know, obviously, I mean, McColl or, uh, McCollum and Lillard, when they're healthy, they're as dangerous as the Splash Brothers when Clay and – uh, Steph, were healthy. I mean, these guys are that good. I think they carry them tonight. But I think the best play, Chelsea, just play the over when you see these two teams, especially when they're playing each other. I mean, this one's going to be an absolute shootout. If you like player props, which I know, Chelsea, you like to play at some points, there's going to be a lot of over of over player props in this one that I think you could uh, win some nice money on because there's both of these teams are probably going to have two or three guys uh, clock in at uh, 25 to 28 points or more. And uh, maybe even way more like, uh, you know, I, I could see where uh, both Zion, because they really don't have any answer to him, gets 35 plus. And I could see where, uh, of course, Damian gets his 35 or 40 as well. Right. Uh, if you ever watch the Pelicans, they're terrible at spacing when it comes to the defense. And for that reason, they're terrible at defending the three point shot. They're allowing opponents to shoot almost 40 percent from beyond the arc. And oh, yeah, you know who likes to shoot threes? The Portland Trailblazers. Uh, they're eighth in the in the league in three point percentage. And, you know, Dame Dollar is going to be uh, throwing up some threes as well as CJ McCollum. So I think either way, any way you slice it, there's going to be points in this one. Uh, that's going to do it for NBA Talk here on Picks and Parlays. Great stuff from Craig Trapp as always. Craig, thanks for joining us.